Okay, so our question here asks us to solve for x in the equation x squared minus x plus 56 equals 0. Now one thing we might want to try to do at first is just to do simple factoring just by looking at that. We know this is going to factor into two things with an x. And we've got a negative uh, 1 and a 56, and we know that negative 8 and plus 7 would do that. But now let's double check and let's see what we get when we uh, foil this back out. So we're going to get an x squared, uh, a 7x. Negative 8 times x gives us negative 8x. Negative 8 times 56 gives us, or negative 8 times 7 gives us negative 56, sorry. We know this reduces down to x squared minus x minus 56. And this is really close to what we want, except we had a negative here, whereas we had a positive up here. So we can continue to try other ways, but we know that we're probably not going to get anything that works. However, we do have a quadratic here, which makes our lives a lot easier when we have a quadratic in the form ax squared plus bx plus c, which is exactly what we have here, with our a being 1, our b being negative 1, and our c being a 56. Now we can go ahead and start to use our quadratic formula, which we will recall that it looks like this. x is equal to our negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac. All of this is over top of 2a. Now we're going to go ahead and start using the numbers from our equation and plugging them into the quadratic formula to see what we get. So we have x is equal to negative negative 1, which is our b, plus or minus, big square root, negative 1 squared, which is our b squared, minus 4 times our a, which is just 1, and times our c, which is 56, and all this is over top of 2 times our a, which was 1. <clears throat> now we're left with x is equal to negative negative 1, which we know is just 1, plus or minus negative 1 squared, which is just 1, minus 4 times 1 times 56, that's going to give us a negative 224 all over 2, since 2 times 1 is 2. Now we're going to continue to reduce this down until we get something we can work with, and we have 1 is 1 plus or minus negative 223 all over top of 2. Negative 223 came from 1 minus 224 right here. Now, there's not much we can really do here, except we see that we have a negative inside of our square root side, and most of the times we know that we just disregard that, but we are going to deal with the complex uh, roots here. So we need to account for that. So we're going to rewrite this as x is equal to 1 plus or minus the square root of negative 1 times the square root of 223 all over 2. And this is perfectly okay to do because negative, the negative, or one square root times another square root will give you another resulting square root, and those are equivalent. So now that we know x is equal to 1 plus or minus, we know that the square root of negative 1 is equal to i, or an imaginary number, so we're going to put that in right here. i, and then we have root of 223 over 2. Now, as far as I can see, there's nothing else we can do to reduce this. So we can simply go over here and write x is equal to 1 plus i root 223 over 2 and 1 minus i root 223 all over 2. And that is our, oops, our final answer.